Hey everybody, it's Jason from Straight Edge Knives, and I'm here with Jason, uh, Condor Knife and Tool. And uh, we're going to talk about some of his designs and some of the new stuff that Condor has out. Yeah, so a couple of things, Jason, that we have. Um, very new this year is the, the, the new Country Road series, uh, which all feature leather stacked in the center part for good grip retention. Uh, paired on each side with micarta, canvas micarta, and then also hickory at the end. Uh, this is the machete for this year out of 1075, awesome. and um, then also that goes along with that we have an axe. Jason, I'll let you oh, look wow, at that nice if you want. Yeah, pair that up. That'd be a nice, nice little camp combo right there. Pair up that machete with this axe. Give you guys a close look at that. Nice leather stack. Feels really nice. Got a nice weight to it. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, and one other very nice feature of this group. Uh, one thing that I've been trying to do a series with with Condor where certain features or functions I carry through and then may change blade shape, sizes, add axes or things. Uh, with the Country Roads, what I wanted to do is, was offer a very versatile sheath as I do with a lot of the designs. So the sheath comes pre-molded ready to accept left or right hand draw. Uh, it gives you some different uh, attachment options here with the eyelets and then also has a swivel belt loop. And again, this is the camp knife. So this is 1095 steel here oh, nice. uh, with a high grind. And you yeah. can see they're very light in the hand. Oh, yes. Um, it's, but it's strong. It's large it's knife, but it's just deceptively light. Yeah. Or deceptively, it's large, but light. I don't, yes. know. I don't know how to say that. But yeah, it's actually, but it's still got a nice thickness. But yeah, that is, that's very light. Yeah. Considering the, the look of it. It looks like it would definitely be a heavier knife. Yeah, it's a it's a hefty built knife and, and full tang, so it carries all the way through in there um, with the hidden tang. I mean, but it, it is a, again, and if you're right-handed, when you get the knife, you can set it up however you want or left-handed, so you can set the draw up whichever way, and then it'll just mold right to the knife and form fit very yeah. nicely. Very nice so. leather, too. It looks really clean, like it's got that nice classic brown look. Right, and it's a, it's a heavy grade. It, you know, leather here is uh, the Mountaineer Trail series as well, new edition, the Hunter. So you've got a, a very nice place here to rest your finger. Uh, you can also pick up a pot, something like that, you know, off yeah. of the fire with it. It's cord wrapped in the middle with hickory on both sides. And then also this year we've uh, started the Trail Spur series, which is two knives here that uh, black and brown micarta, uh, a little different blade shape, more of a traditional Bowie. And, and there's a little clip point here and then um, but this knife here also offers the dangler and a lot of a lot of different carry options here jason is you know i like to be able to go through with your belt this way you can wear your belt here here and you can put a nice metal clip in it yeah uh, so that works out very well so and again when you get it you can mold it the direction that you want there well this one's a little bit more set up here with the curve but it helps that's, out that's really nice it's really yeah. forward thinking and the fact that you set it up for so many different carry options because so many different people like to carry their knives different ways. Right. Some people love scout carry, some people hate it, some love dangler, some hate it. And you gave pretty much an option for almost everything with right. this setup. Right. That, that's really nice. You know, helps people save money and not having to go out and buy custom sheaths afterwards and stuff. And and it, again, the leather, I really like the, the sort of the old school feel with newer materials. So it kind of gives you that hybrid in all of these. Uh, and then this is an axe that did this year with a forged head. And again, giving you a little bit of a, the protection up here in the grip and a, a, you know, a fall here in the back where you can actually uh, use it for skinning or hammering. So a lot of different, a lot of different options on that, that as well. So yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like the danglers cause I'm a, a lot of times don't want somebody to see it. You can just tuck that in right Stay there in the and yep, yep. And then you've got it doesn't doesn't seem to hinder you as much so awesome. yeah any can... other questions on what everything i got wow so i mean you guys just have a gamut of everything from tactical to camp to yeah. to more even traditional um bush traditional craft. old school bush right, craft, right. you know uh i mean like taking Matt a Graham, look, yeah look at there like this is i mean this is Pretty unique as far as, to me, as, as far as uh, something that a company is offering. I mean, this is very, even though it's very tomahawkish, it's got a different look. And yes. then with that sheath system, with the, with the yeah. or it comes with leather, with that piece yeah, of wood you had on the Yeah, that was a display one. Yeah, that was. Yeah. 
So, and here's what's neat about Matt's design too, is, you know, kind of mimic the canoe shape, which oh, is really yeah. neat. It right? does. And, uh, and then it straps right through the loops uh, and the cutout there in the center and holds it on very securely. Very cool. so. very, it has a very cool design on it. With this nice little point. The handle's very decorative. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, they do a great job with the etching. I mean, Condor is such a a merger in and of itself of old and new school design. I mean, lasers and all the way down to old smithing techniques, you know, and a yeah. lot of the way they, they can forge and, and do different things. So Condor really has the capability to make just about any shape, size, design that you want. And oh, wow. that was one of the interesting things for me as a designer that drew me to Condor is that ability to to do everything from a forging all the way to you know stamping or cut out laser cut and etching so very unique company and and the leather work is it's supreme yeah. i mean feel the weight of that jason yeah it's that's really, a nice you can see here this the very it has that canoe looking shape which is really cool um and definitely a thick leather nicely done very rustic i like it really, yes but functional at functional, the same time yeah, right functional, so, rustic yet functional yeah it's very I like to use the word value. I think I think Condor offers a wonderful price point. I mean, you look here, uh, beautiful micarta. You know, you have the nice eyelet here in the front, but you also have the beautiful liner. So, you know, a lot of a lot of skill that goes into this. And I've had the opportunity to tour their plant, and it's a wonderful facility. A lot of a lot of great craftsmen at Condor. So yeah, yeah they're, they're beautiful knives, and your designs. Are, these are I really like these these are super cool very for edc carry very nice cord wrap here in the middle gives it a nice little texture yes and you can see i got wear xl and mechanic clothes and i pretty much got almost a full-size grip choke up on it it's very cool yeah i like modularity in my design so you bring out a very great point there is yeah you, know, you can kind of three finger and stay in here or you can wrap that fourth finger and you still have that nice grip. Sort of the same concept with short carry pistols. You know, you've kind of got that, that pinky rest as well if you want it. But it also gives you a lot of different choke designs. That's one of the things that I wanted to do in my designs. You look here. So this was over to us, yes. one of last year's designs, Jason, that I did with the Mountain Pass series. So this was a different series. But again, it has the nice liners in between the micarta, canvas micarta. But one of the things here is you can choke up, you can choke back on this, you know, so it gives you kind of the option to whip, cut a little bit or to chop if you want choked up or do some short, some short work as well. Oh, so. yeah. Well, this has got a nice weight to it. Yeah, yeah that's one of my favorites. Actually, uh, first larger machete size blade that I did. Very nice. Definitely, it's not super heavy but it's not so light that you're going to have to work extra hard to, to get those cuts in right I grew my whole life in west virginia so a lot of the hardwood and pine you know forest so unlike a jungle machete i wanted something with a little more thickness maybe not as much blade but still has the give uh, and then also the weight is distributed back a little bit of your primary cutting edge so it gives you a little more thrust into it um and it, and it kind of gives it that traditional uh, Bowie shape almost to it, you know, that yeah. Americanized, I guess you'd call it, uh, yeah. version. So, awesome. but yes, they, and then this has the classic condor finish, which I like as well, Jason. It, it sort of gives it that hammered, hammer tone, forged old school look, but it's on purpose. So, you know, it's a, uh, it's very nice. Yeah. I very really nice. Like, yeah. yeah. And it, same leather sheaths, and they do such a wonderful job on those. So. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate yes, you taking Jason, the time to talk too. with us and yes, show us absolutely. show some of the new products that are out and explain some of the process. Uh, <laughs> and I'll try not to walk off your mic like Judd. Oh, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, not a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my camera, go around, just kind of go sure, across the table, show everybody. Again, absolutely. thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Jason. Awesome. Ah, shake your hand. <laughs> thank you. Uh, no problem. Yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah, like Let me get this here. Guys, yeah, I'm gonna flip this around. I'll go around the tables real quick for you guys. Uh, see a little bit more of the blades that they have available. I mean, they—they, they, I mean, you have everything from like this classic Viking style, possibly blade here, to a tactical boot knife, almost to kitchen cleavers. Condor has quite a bit of variety 
when it comes to their their options. Um, and like I said, he, uh, Jason did a great job with his knife designs. These are some really, really cool blades here. You see here, I really dig this one. This one has a really, I love that Bowie style to it. Very, very nice. But yeah, I mean, there's just so many options with Condor and their price points are, are really good as well. Um, they use oh, primarily 1075, 1095 steels. Um, and like I said, they have different processing, different ways of processing that come out really awesome. So many different choices. This, this guy here, look at that. Awesome blade. Here we got some cool little pendant necklaces here. Sharpening stone. Oh, oh I was going to show you guys this one. Look at this little guy. Little teeny two finger little. That's, that thing's pretty cool. Even has a little neck sheath here. Nice bolo style machete. Lots of hatches, machetes. Very nice kukri. This kukri is really cool because it has this nice scallop in it to help reduce some of the weight. Nice classic looking fillet style knife. Little cleaver style blade. Ulu. Like I said, they do a lot, a really good job of blending old school style with new school materials. Look at this. Oh, wow. As, as skinny and long as this is, you would think it would be super light, but this has some weight to it, guys. This thing is pretty two-handed. You could definitely do some chopping with this. I'll have to find out the name on that one for y'all. See if I can't get a hold of one and do a video on it. Very good. Uh, I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm on awesome, awesome. Let's hatch it. Here's another. Nice chopper style blade. Like I said, Condor's, Condor's doing a good job here, guys. They're making some really nice stuff. I'm kind of getting back to some of the other stuff here. Cool. I'll get out of here. Flip this around. If I can catch Joe here, I want to find out a little bit more about this long blade for you guys. So, Joe Flowers, he's awesome. He's a uh, Bushcraft Global knife designer. Hey, Joe. Hey, hey, what's up? Got a question for you, buddy. Yes, sir. Let me turn this around so we can get some video. What is this? This thing now, is so you know Muay Thai has a very specific martial art, but they have these really like old school, like Tony Jaw style, um, traditional portion of um, Muay Thai, and in that there were weapons. And so in in the um, in the areas of Burma and, and Indonesia, um, there's a specific type of sword called a, a Thai Da D H A. Um, and um, yeah, it's basically like a Muay Thai sword. And I was able to check out some of these and they're really cool. So I took the design and made it into a machete. Um, That's and, like, and I don't so even know what I call it a machete. That's like a sword. That thing's got some weight to it. Mover. Yeah, yeah, but it's like for fast, quick movement. So like, I'm not going to be chopping like crazy with this, of course. All right. We, we know that. But for like everything else, if you're going through any area in the Southeast, Man, I've used this like crazy, and, and um, I tell you what, um, so Burmese pythons are a um, introduced species of snake in, in Florida. Yeah. Um, there was a, a really cool story about some um, herpetology buddies of mine breaking their machete, um, trying to uh, um, behead one. Um, and, and to, you know, this is back in the day when you were allowed to do that correctly, right around the Everglades. Um, and so... They wanted the machete designed to take off the head real quick. And I was like, you know what? There's already one made. You know, in Thai martial arts, uh, the um, Thai Daw is kind of there. So oh, this nice. became the Burmese hunter to go hunt Burmese pythons. So that's um, the name of the... Uh, yeah, the Burmese, the yeah it's called the Burmese hunter. Oh, it's, man. It's, 
honestly, this is more or less like a, a fast, um, this sounds crazy, but hunting machete. Uh-huh. So when, when you have to go through like thick bush quick, um, and then also might have to do meat processing or, or, or meat foraging, you know, can dispatch um, humanely an animal uh, quickly with it. But also, you know, it's a really, really cool um, nod to the traditional martial arts of uh, yeah. Um, the area. Yeah, that's super cool. I was like, I was kind of going around showing that. And I like, okay, I got to ask yeah. you about this. this you know, is- you can use it double handed. They also, you know, just like um, how in Muay Thai, you're using elbows and knees and stuff. You're using the butt when, when you're doing some of the different martial arts with this. Um, so... It's really cool and intuitive. Yeah. You pick it up and you know what to do with it. Yeah, yep. You know exactly what to do with it. It's one-handed. You could easily one-hand swing this or two-handed. Yeah. Get that power swing with the two hands. And, and I mean, for, for landscaping and stuff, as, you know, most machetes should be to me, um, trimming bushes uh, around brambles, all that stuff, lighter uh, material all up until, like, maybe two-inch or one-inch saplings, that thing sings through it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to chop with that one but if, if you guys are knife people you can tell yeah you know, it's not made for chopping but you, it's still thick enough that you can but we're talking i don't know like maybe, maybe like you're not making inch. a log cabin yeah. right yeah you, you can chop through that no problem and and we use it down in um um columbia down in the amazon on the bushcraft global trips and uh there was a gentleman from serbia um who absolutely loved it so i have to bring one of these to him too oh yeah Got to bring one to me too. This yeah, is of course. cool. <laughs> I really like it, man. It's awesome. So, so if I can put it back up here. Yeah. So that's that's new this year. There's a, a whole myriad of, of new stuff. I just pulled this out of my bag. This is oh. one of just my users. Um, that this is my travel machete because it's light enough to do work. It's called the um, uh, operator's Bowie. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool to have multiple knives Got everywhere. A cool little backup. Way yeah. for smaller work. Yeah, and then you know to set fire to my booth at shot show and stuff. <laughs> I got the ones that. That's what we got. Out. We got a display of fire making skills in the booth here. Oh yeah, show. well there's some over here from Black and White Fire Starters. Oh wow! And I was just testing their stuff here too. Cool. So that worked. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much, Joe. Hey, I greatly appreciate so it. So tell us the name of your channel. Uh, Jason Straight Edge Knives, obviously. I also Straight Edge Eyes. Mash Straight that subscribe Knives. button. Yeah. Are you on Instagram? Yes, you know, I am. Stuff Instagram too. as well, at Straight okay. Edge Knives on Instagram. And Joe, where do we find you at? Uh, Condor Tool Knife and, and Bushcraft Global. Um, sometimes Tops lets me hang out with them too. So sometimes you can find me at Tops. Always. Um, yeah. When they let me. And uh, yeah, that stuff. Awesome. So I will have links to Bushcraft Global and Condor in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You guys stay safe, stay sharp, and we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you. Sorry about the microphone mishap.